Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com out here for another gear review and today talking optic mounts. These right here by Unity Riser, which is the fast optic riser mount as well as their fast FTC flip to center magnifier mount for this Eotech magnifier. If you're unfamiliar, Unity Tactical makes all kinds of things from the clutch, atom slide, spark, and a bunch of different optic mounts to include these. And depending on kind of your paradigm, what you're trying to achieve, they're pretty cool. So this riser mount basically takes an optic, in this case an EOTech, that is basically lower one-third co-witness and raises it up to about 2.26 inches over the bore. And this also raises it to that same level. So what does that do? Well, it puts everything up higher. What does that mean? Well, depending on, again, your use case, if you're using nods or you have like over your hearing protection comms, maybe you're running like a field protective mask, like gas mask, something like that, you can bring this up and get your sight picture without trying to like mash your head down or anything like that, which is pretty handy. Of course, there is no free lunch. So is there a downside? It can depend. So if you're not doing any of those things, you might find yourself kind of with more of like a chin weld than a cheek weld, which is a thing not as conducive to maybe like precision shooting if you're shooting off a bench or something like that. And the other thing just to be aware of, of course, is offset. Again, if you're shooting paper at 50 yards and that's your thing, it might not matter. But if you're doing dynamic things where you're engaging targets at different distances to include maybe moving through a structure, offset gets really important, especially if you have a low probability shot. So definitely you have more offset with this. Definitely need to learn it if that's a thing for you. The mounts themselves, both this riser as well as the flip to center mount with the magnifier, both machined out of 7075 T6 aluminum. And then they are type three hard coat anodized. This being their kind of flat dark earth, kind of almost a goldish color, and this being their black. On this, this is connected right here. You have these two T25 Torx bits going ahead and clamping this onto the rail over here. This one actually attaches right here with a ADM QD throw lever. Depress that right there and swing that lever out, pull that thing straight off. Of course, you don't necessarily need it with this riser mount because if you're running like an EOTech, for example, you can go ahead and remove the optic itself with that throw lever there. And of course, our magnifier right here drops straight down. This, you may or may not have noticed, is actually mounted upside down inside this mount. It has zero bearing on its use, works perfectly fine, but that's the way this is set up so that it drops down to center. This FTC flip to center mount for the G33 magnifier by EOTech, it's huge, especially depending on what type of gun you're using it on and kind of what your paradigm is. Like if you're pulling this thing in and out of a vehicle or moving through a structure, or maybe you're deploying this thing out of a bag if it's on a little compact carbine, something like that, having a magnifier that is basically sticking way out to the side, one, it's definitely not conducive to just carrying it, period. And it creates a huge snag hazard, especially working around vehicles, indoors, deploying from bags, anything like that. And on top of that, you now have something that is honestly just changing the balance of the gun because you have a big mass hanging off one side or the other. Whereas this, if you're not using it, it drops straight down out of the way. It's really amazing. I will say there's something that I kind of ran into that I thought was pretty interesting at a three-day night vision course. I was down there at Thunder Ranch and I actually ran this setup right here, XVL2, IRC, Jumbo Shrimp, Radian Model 1, these riser, as well as the FTC and the EOTech and the magnifier. We definitely did shooting during the day and then at night we do more shooting. And 
when we ended up stretching things out, it was actually really interesting stretching this gun out with this optic setup. And there were a number of people in the class that actually had different riser mounts, whether it was for this Eotech or for Aimpoint made by Unity Tactical. Again, coming up to that 2.26 height over bore. And what we kind of found, or in my experience, and I think the same with the other people there, was the drops were definitely less. So if you look at kind of just broad strokes data as far as what your drop should be as far as the bullet flight path, how much it's gonna drop at different distances. Being set up with this height over bore, there was a lot less holdover than with kind of more conventional optic setups. I don't really know kind of the how or why, but for whatever reason, having everything sitting up a little bit higher, once you had your good zero, your holds, like there wasn't a huge, there was definitely a variation, especially out at 700, but it wasn't as much as basically optics or sights mounted kind of more traditional height. Pretty interesting. Which brings us to use. I have ran this on a number of different kind of range days, but largely this setup on this gun, and it actually went cross country on the coast to coast tour. Did a great job out there and then as far as meaningful use with me personally i ran this at that three-day night vision course down there at thunder ranch did an amazing job again going back to that height over bore being able to shoot passively through your night vision definitely huge not trying to crane your neck and makes a world of difference and then being able to go ahead, flip up that magnifier on, I think maybe day three, we were stretching guns out, seeing how far we could get. Being able to go ahead and have just that three by magnifier when you needed it, it was huge. Being able to basically extend your engagement distance. I ended up getting first round hit at 700 with this gun, which was amazing. Would I have I made a second hit at 700? If I did my part, like this gun's actually an incredible gun and the ammo is shooting, it was sub MOA, but yeah, that's definitely, definitely stretching it. But once you have kind of all your dope and your holds, like, yeah, you can reach out there. Pretty cool setup. Yeah, you just need to come up a little bit more. Ivan. Right in the fucking throat. Yep, first round good shot. 700. Right to left. Is perfect. What was your hold? Center? Obviously, right now, this is set up for the EOTech. You can use it, honestly, with pretty much any red dot that is on a mount that would otherwise give it basically lower one third co witness. And yeah, works perfectly for EOTech. If you're interested in either the riser or the FTC, magnifier mount you can pick them up a number of places to include directly through unity tactical made here in the u.s really solid quality stuff again kind of goes back to application though if you're honestly just out kind of shooting at the range maybe you don't use night vision shoot passively or whatever it may be then it might not be for you but again, depending on your shooting style, even if you're not gonna be using night vision or gas mask or anything else, there is something to be said for not having to crane your neck, especially if you're moving through structures, things like that, where you're just bringing the gun up and it's right there in your line of view, or in your line of vision rather. But if you're gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna go stretch this thing out, do some precision shooting, eh, you might want to get a cheek riser if you're going to be doing that because this is not as stable as that. That's what it comes down to. Again, there is no free lunch. But overall, really pleased, super quality mounts. Price-wise, you're looking at around 95 for the riser and about 220, I want to say, for this magnifier mount. By the way, only works with the G33 magnifier from EOTech. Their G, I think 44 and 45, does not work with them. They may or may not come out with one for that, but this is the setup right now. 
And lastly, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. One of the ways you can do that is supporting me through Patreon, helps me go out, create more content for you. And if you have questions, happy to answer them over there. We have an active Discord. Really appreciate all the support. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.